Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my empties for January month and it's been a long time since I filmed. I have no makeup on today because I just cannot be bothered. It's midnight basically when I'm filming this and I just now had time to do this so that's why the lighting is crap and yeah and I just could not be bothered to put on makeup around midnight to film this so I wanted to film this now because my empties are out of control and I just need to get rid of them like this whole little baggie here is stuffed with them so I'm just gonna start going through whatever is in here I don't even remember what it is I do have I usually keep my makeup empties in this and in this one I only have one and it technically it's not makeup but because it is a tinted lip balm I thought I would put it here it is from Akko face soft pink lip balm and this is what that one looks like and as you can see I have dug out everything that could be dug out of this so it is completely done and over with this is the second time I'm trying this and I have given it a fair chance it's not for me, it does not make my lips any more moisturized or whatever. And I just, and the pink color makes my lips look kind of white. So I will not be repurchasing this. I gave it a second chance, it's not working out for me. Therefore I cannot recommend it and I will not be repurchasing. The next thing I have in here is a sugar scrub, sugar scrub in strawberry scent with almond oil and avocado oil and this is what that one looks like this one smells divine mm, this one smells so good it was so good uh, i bought this at a spa actually where i was they had this one and i had to have one at home and i just loved using it and honestly i like the spa but i would really want to go back there just for the scrub and therefore it doesn't even have a specific brand name it's just sugar scrub i think it's their own personal kind of scrub that they have at the spa and the next thing i have in here is also by Akko. it is nail polish remover effective and gentle with no perfume and this is what that one looks like and it was a little tiny one i liked it i would repurchase it it is kind of pricey for this little bottle though, but yeah, I would repurchase it, definitely. Uh, the next thing in here is a hand soap from Yves Rocher or Rocher or however you pronounce that. And it is the candied orange and cinnamon kind of scent. This is what that one looks like, kind of, if you can see, maybe a little bit. I had high hopes for this. This was limited edition for Christmas and I bought hand cream, shower gel and body lotion in the same scent and I can honestly tell you that the scent was crap. I am almost done with all the three rest of the things that I have. I cannot recommend it but it was limited edition during uh, the Christmas time so you can probably not get it now anyway. But I don't like it. The scent was really bad. Not at all like candied orange and cinnamon. I don't know what it smelled like, but it wasn't that. Then I have a random one. It's a little plasticky packet and it used to contain a really good scented lavender bar of soap um, that my parents bought me when they were in Greece. So that one is in the using right now. And then I have something that you have seen before if you are, have watched my empties before. And this is Original Flux. This is for mm, this is mouthwash in a big size, and uh, yeah, if you've seen my empties, you've seen this before. I I keep repurchasing it, and I have another one, and I love it. So yeah, and then I have some Q-tips. Uh, these ones are from Garant, and these are organic. Uh, I prefer to buy these when I can find them and if I can't I buy some other ones but these ones are my favorite because they are organic and they are not that pricey to be honest. 
and then I have a random one again this is a candle from Orleans which is a local store a part department store here in Sweden and this one was really really nicely cherry flavored or scented but as you can see it was crap at burning it has so much product left in there and just I would not recommend buying it even though it smelled divine because it just didn't do its job there is so much product left in there and it just wasn't worth the money that I spent on it and then I have a foil packet from Dior a little sample dream skin global age defying skincare perfect skin creator this is what that one looks like I think it's really hard for you to see but yeah um, I actually like this a lot and I can actually consider buying it the scent was really good um, it was kind of a tinted moisturizer kind of thing I really really liked it and I can definitely look into buying a full size of this I have one facial mask this one is with avocado and something else I don't know it says in French here but this is what that one looked like I really liked it and I have another one of these to use up and I have one of these nose strips deep cleansing nose strips from pure derm I like these ones as well and this is what they look like so on the back yeah I like them I keep repurchasing them yeah can definitely recommend them then I have a toothpaste and this one is from Pepsodent extra fresh with lime mint now this one was something different for me I just had to try it because it was lime mint and it was really good actually I did use up everything every last little bit of it um, and it says big size but don't be fooled by that it's actually the same size as any other toothpaste that's a little bit bigger so it's not a mini basically it's just regular size one I would buy it if I saw it on extra price otherwise no probably not and I'm sorry but this video will probably be quite lengthy because I keep looking down and I have a lot of stuff left so the next thing in here is a hand and nail cream uh, with honey sunflower precious oil and vitamin E from Rev de Mio from Nooks and this is what this one looks like as you can see I have emptied the crap out of this one the scent was not my favorite the scent lingered it was it is really perfumey really kind of spicy and it lingered on my hands so much that it, when I would eat something if I would like bring the spoon to my face I could not smell the food I would smell only my hands so I cannot recommend it I will not be repurchasing it and honestly it was not that rehydrating for my hands either for the price as well it was really expensive this little 75 milliliters thing and then I have something I loved so much it is from the body shop there strawberry shower gel and this is what that one looks like there's a little bit left in the bottom but I cannot get it out yeah this one smelled really good but not as good as their other uh, things in the same scent line um, I would probably not repurchase this actually honestly yeah no their scrub is amazing though but this I will probably not be repurchasing that and then I have something I would repurchase it is also from Akko and it is rich care foot cream with canola oil and shea butter and this is what that one looks like this is a really rich and really nice foot cream and I really really like it it smells so good and fresh and you can see I really cut it open and just emptied every last bit of it because I love it so much it is kind of pricey for the little size but it's worth it then I have some cotton rounds from Ika basic which is basically a food store here in Sweden they were not good I will not be purchasing these ones again they are really cheap there are 80 of them in here but they would split on me like in two pieces and the all the fuzzy things would get out and stick everywhere and I just did not like these at all so I would not be repurchasing them and then I have another lip balm here this one is Puss 
by Cloetta and this is basically Cloetta is a candy brand here and this is kind of like a play on that but as you can see I scratched every bit of it it was colorless or it was white but then when you apply it it was transparent it doesn't have any scent at all it was just basic chapstick basically and yeah I scraped everything out of it used it up could consider repurchasing it but it did not last me that long so this is one of those products that goes by really fast and then I have a perfume sample this is Pleats Please by Issey Miyake or the toilet this is a little sample size I don't know how to show you if you can see that I am not sure but I didn't like it it is way too strong for me really spicy and flowery and I don't even know what it's supposed to smell like but so sweet so strong I just no not for me it was nice to try but I will not be purchasing it and I have another uh, perfume sample here this one is from Yves Rocher and it is Rose Oud Sacred the Essence or the perfume and this is what that one looked like this one smelled literally like you were rubbing a rose all over yourself it was so strong I could not like I could not smell anything else on me or around me for like half a day so this is not for me at all I will not be purchasing this and honestly unless you really like the scent of the over rose don't buy it this and we're to our last empty it is empty in here and really disgusting uh, and this is also a candle and this is one of my absolute favorite ones this is from Voluspa and it is crisp champagne this is my favorite candle oh, this smells so good like every time the fall comes this is what I'm in the mood for and it is all the way down to the bottom this smells so delicious I would definitely recommend these Voluspa candles they are on the pricey side like they're really expensive actually but they are so good like if you like these scents and that was it for my empties this was a large one i hope you stuck to the end and thank you so much for watching if you did uh, make sure to like this video if you like it and feel free to subscribe if you want to see some more of these thank you so much for watching bye bye <laughs>